What's up, y'all? <laughs> y'all been talking, that nigga funeral was off the hook. Them niggas dropped the caskets. <laughs> What's up, y'all? What's up, boo? What's happening? I want to welcome y'all to the Section 8 portion of the show. I know y'all, if y'all don't know what Section 8 is, that's like if you get your girl pregnant. She had to go down to the housing authority and fill out an application. But you can't put your name in there because then the rent will be too high. Do y'all know some people on Section 8 rent is $1 a month and still get put out? You be like, damn, can't you pay a quarter a week? I'll be getting my rent at the church collection basket. Ooh, forgive me, sweet Jesus. You know I got to pay my rent. Jesus is on the main line, tell it. If my rent was a dollar, I'd make one trip to the rent office. What's up, I'm Ricky Smiley, here $24. I'll see you in two years. They behind the counter talking about big baller. I'd be like, bling, bling, nigga, bling, bling. Y'all sitting up here acting like y'all been rich all y'all life. I know y'all used to get the government cheese back in the day. If you did not get the government cheese, make some noise. Y'all didn't get the government cheese? Y'all miss out on the best damn macaroni and cheese. What? That cheese was hard as hell to cut though, wasn't it? I don't care how thin you try to slice it, by the time you get to the bottom, it's about that thick. Now you in the break room, your damn sandwich look like a ramp. <laughs> I know some of y'all had roaches. Roaches ain't no joke, ain't it? Roaches don't come out till you have company. Time you have company, here they come. Where they crawl in front of the TV. Then they took a bath and everything, they come. My bad, ain't know you had company, nigga, my bad. Then that mama roach come out, she got the, you know, she pregnant, she got the little tail on it. <laughs> Don't you hate to eat cereal over somebody's house that got roaches? Especially if they got sugar smacks. Cause sugar smacks look just like roaches, don't they? Me and my sister used to pour the damn cereal on the table and go through them like they pinto beans. All these right here ain't got no roach in. Now you look through them. <laughs> We be on my grandma's house all the time, man. My grandma was a damn trip, man. Y'all remember that deodorant your grandma used? <laughs> Tussie. <laughs> oh, go to hell. Y'all remember the Tussie cream where you screw the cap off and dip your finger down in there and write your name up under your arm? All right. <laughs> you go to school, it'd be up under your fingernail like you got French tips. They be like, dog, you got your nails done? No, oh, nigga, that's Tussie. Y'all don't laugh at this, I'm gonna tell y'all something for real. Now you know, I'm serious right here cause I have to say something serious. Now you know, everybody in middle school had that one cheerleader that was in the special ed. I ask y'all night, like, I'm just telling y'all, don't. Security. And you know which one is special ed. Because you know you have to let the special ed students participate in the extracurricular activities to encourage them. But then she get out there doing basketball season and embarrass the whole damn school. And you know which one especially. Y'all know the first cheer they do when they introduce all the cheerleaders. You know, jump up, jump back. Y'all know it, introduce yourself. My name is Keisha. I'm nine. I'm fine. All right, all right, all right, all right. Jump up, jump back. And here she come. My name is Precious. Uh huh, uh huh, uh huh. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Y'all going to hell? I ain't going here because I ain't tell y'all to laugh at it. I'm telling you what happened at my school. My grandma get mad as hell about that. My grandma don't like that. She done pulled me to the side. They tell me, you on the comedy jams, talking about precious. 
You know she's retarded. Don't get up there and do that like that. That's ugly. You don't do things like that. Grandma, sit your drunk ass now. Y'all remember back in the day when your mama dropped you off of your grandma's house and forget about you? Your grandma get drunk and cuss y'all out coming out there with that cigarette hanging at the end. I'm like, your mama need to come get y'all with her trifling ass. Then left you over here all weekend. She ain't called to check to see if you had no clean clothes, said, hey, cat, dog, or nothing. Boy, put my nightgown on and get your ass in the bed. Get in the bed, your grandma bed about that high. The blanket's about that thick. The cover's so heavy, you can't even turn over. You in the bed just stuck. I wanna go home! Lay your goddamn ass down. Let me do this for y'all. Y'all down? What my life? <laughs> Wait, let me tell y'all something. This is true. Ladera, Ladera is true. I didn't make that up. That ain't no joke. That's real. Ladera, go to, when he go to my school. We went to the same elementary school. I ain't lying. Now, this is how I met Lil Daryl. Now, you know, his teacher and my teacher were best friends. He was in the special ed. So his teacher got sick one day, and his teacher asked my teacher, would she watch her students? So she got their little toys and stuff together and brought them all around there to the class. And you know how you had an empty desk sitting behind you? And I'm, I'm, I'm going to do a demonstration where I got my good friend, Damon Williams, very funny comedian from BET, Comedy and Def Jam. Come on out, Damon. Come on, show us some love. Come on, y'all, show Damon some love. Yeah, all right, Damon, you me. All right, act like you sitting up here doing your work. And little Daryl, you know, cause he sat, he, sat, he's, he sat right behind me, so act like you doing your work. So shh, so you know, this, this how it went down, cause he started asking me questions. If he didn't ask me a hundred questions, he didn't say nothing to me at all. <laughs> I'm sitting down trying to do my work, here he, he go, you know. Hey. What's your life? <laughs> My name is Dale. <laughs> if that's your class, <laughs> if that's your teacher over there. You howl. <laughs> you howl. I'm so howl. <laughs> Do y'all go to lunch? <laughs> we went to lunch yesterday. <laughs> We had some hamburgers, <laughs> french fries, fruit cup, and we drank some milk. <laughs> you booty. <laughs> you supposed to say, excuse me. <laughs> Y'all get, get up and down. My grandma don't do nothing but go to funeral. She don't even be knowing the damn people. And let me tell y'all something, black people, y'all need to start putting an up-to-date photo of your loved ones. It's a damn shame. I saw one said James Williams, age 88. They got a picture of this nigga sending Santa Claus lap with a rattle in his hand. My grandma go to the funeral homes on Fridays and view all them damn bodies don't even know the people. And we get up to the casket and act a plum fool. You ever went to view the body with your grandma? You know your grandma go to your grandma. <laughs> Oh, 
Uthashima Babas. Oh, a summer belly. Do y'all know how much funerals cost? Over five thousand dollars. You would come out cheaper having your funeral with somebody else. They charging you for the day. I saw an ad in the paper. We have lost our loved one. If someone in your family died, please give us a call. Well, we can go in half on a funeral. I went to a double funeral. They had bunk bed caskets. My grandma took her drunk ass in there. Lord have mercy. Mm, this ain't even her. Thank you, Daddy! Oh, some of this. <laughs> Y'all ain't been to no funeral until you went to a drug dealer funeral. Oh, hell, that's when they put stuff in the casket. They got the little roses in the casket with the batteries on the stem that you buy at the club that be blinking <laughs> with the little light bulb. <laughs> the, the, the strip club in the reef with all the strippers pitched on the ass neck. <laughs> One nigga came in there with some rims. That nigga put two twinnies in the casket. I went to one drug dealer funeral, they put so much stuff in the casket, they had to take the body out in order to close it. They then went to the cemetery and buried all that junk and left his ass up in the church. <laughs> and then y'all had a nerve to have a damn drive through funeral home up here. That's a damn shame. Now you can't have nothing like that for black people. We already take funerals hard as it is. You kill your damn self driving up, seeing your loved one in the wonder. You just <laughs> now both your ass in the wonder. What if you go to the drive-through funeral home? You high? You smoking weed with your boy? And you thinking you had Sonic or Rallys or something. You know, you driving up, you know, you driving up, you know. You know. Let me get a number three with cheese and no onions. Appreciate it. Bitch, I know you hear me talking to you. Thank y'all, y'all been wonderful tonight, Ricky Smiley. Thank you, God bless y'all.